Alrighty, what we are going to do is we are going to revisit the DeWalt versus Ryobi test. What the DeWalt had, it had the regular 5 amp hour XR battery. This time, we have the 6 amp hour battery flex. So when it comes to versing the stone, DeWalt lost fair and square against a 3 amp hour Ryobi battery versus a DeWalt 5 amp hour battery. So today, what uh, since this now has a 6 amp hour battery for the stone, the uh, Ryobi is going to have the 6 amp hour HP battery. So this is going to be a fair test. We are using, for the wood, we are using uh, new 1 inch spade bits. Before we did 1 and 1 eighth, we are just going to do 1 inch, 2 brand new. I see it uh, still has the... A little oil on it from when it was manufactured and for this uh, we are still going to use the black oxidized uh, drill uh, drill bit and we are still going to use for the stone the same uh, drill bits that we used before because these were only used once each and say this was used twice and so yeah so we're still going to use the same uh, drill bits for the stone test Right, so for the Ryobi uh, P251 brushless hammer drill, it is it goes up to 24,000 blows per minute. It has approximately 1,800 uh, reps per minute, and it produces up to 750 foot-pounds of torque. So, so the DeWalt hammer drill has 38,250 blows per minute, which is crazy, <coughs> and the... Uh, uh, the RPMs is 2,000, so that's uh, that's not that m much more than the uh, Ryobi, but the blows per minute is just insane. And I'm sorry, but the Home Depot website does not say what the foot pounds and torque is. And I did set up uh, their own. I don't, do not have any more four by fours, but I put two uh, four by fours, uh, two uh, two by fours together for the Dewalt. And one for the Ryobi. So this is the DeWalt test. This is the Ryobi test. All right, as you can see, the uh, battery is full. So three, two, one, go. Time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a it's a nifty little tool to have, so I suggest you guys get this. Now we are not gonna time this in one shot. We are gonna time each individual hole. Alright, so it is on speed three. And if speed three is too fast, then I'll just create one more hole. Uh, if this is too fast to actually drive into the wood, I'll create one more hole and we'll do a uh, we'll ignore this one. All right, so I think I'm overexposed. Actually, that's better. I was a little overexposed. Three, two, one, go. It's one hole. That's a lot better than last test. Three, two, one, go. Very good. All right, next hole. Three, two, one, go. All right, so three, two, one, go. Very good. Three, two, one, go. And that is that.
Now these are very used. Yes, we do. There's enough space. All right, we're gonna use a three inch, a three inch hole cutter. Two, one, go. That's it, we are there. Very good. And that is the that concludes the test for the wood with the DeWalt. That really quick. Six amp hour HP battery on the Ryobi. Now let's move this a little bit closer. Alright, we're good. All right, so three, two, one, go. All righty. There we go, that is eight. It does not matter if it flawed, it, it is what it is. All right, so remember, we're gonna time these individually, we're not doing all at once. All right, so three, two, one, go. That's one. This was on. This was on screw. I just put it to. This was on screw. I messed up. You know what? We're gonna see if I have enough space. We're gonna ignore that hole and just uh, do a new hole somewhere else. All right, so three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Very good. All right, so three, two, one, go. Very good. All right, so three, two, one, go. We have one more. All right, so three, two, one, go. Very good. Yeah. So it is on drill. There we go. That's just about there. All right. So three, two, one, go. Almost there. Take the battery out. There we go. And that's it. So this time if the DeWalt vibrates like crazy, I'm gonna be disappointed. 
because it's a heavier battery, so it will vibrate more. All right, so three, two, one, go. And very good. Very good. All right, so we're ready for the next one. And very good. All right, so three, two, one. Alrighty, it's on hammer speed two. Battery is at 75%. Alright, so three, two, one. Alright, so there's the line. Let's see. Yes, it did. Perfect. That's time. Time on that. Okay, got a clean shop. So al already, the, the results are there. Uh, the This time around, the DeWalt did a lot better. I'm not sure if it's because I used the Flux battery, but... I do, I will say that the HP battery for the Ryobi does make a big difference uh, when it comes to a regular battery. So the same thing might happen with the DeWalt. Uh, I do not know what happened with the first test that I did, that I uploaded, and it just, uh, the DeWalt performed a lot better. Now, I do not know what the results are because I find out what the results are while I edit the video. Both tools did well. Uh, the test results are there. I'm going to, uh, and so more tests will be coming. I am going to expand what, how I test these. And it, what I, in the upcoming video, we are going to test the Makita against the Ryobi uh, Hammer Drill P251. And we're going to use a 3 amp hour battery for this because I only have a 3 amp hour for this. So I do not know how it's going to perform against the, I've never used the Makita before. This is my first time using Makita in my life uh, when I do the video. So yeah, but uh, it's it's awesome. So th those are the test results. Please don't hate me in the comments. This is just the test results. I did all tests uh, equally and fair, and so that's just the results. That's pretty much it. So this is Dave and Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.